In the 16th chapter of the book of Acts, we're invited into this second missionary journey of the Apostle Paul. And it's truly astounding. I mean, I think there's over 40 verses that describe the encounters that Paul begins to have on this missionary journey. But I'd like to draw your attention to this call from Macedonia that Paul has. Let me look at verse nine with you from the New Living Translation. It says, that night Paul had a vision. A man from Macedonia in Northern Greece was standing there pleading with him, come over to Macedonia and help us. And in verse 10 it says, so we decided to leave for Macedonia at once, having concluded that God was calling us to preach the good news there. I find this so interesting. The apostle Paul is focused in getting the gospel declared to as many people as possible and churches planted so they could be discipled. And with this kind of focus, Paul also had the flexibility to hear from the Lord to adjust his plans. He goes to bed one night and has this dream, this, this vision of this individual, this man calling him over to Macedonia to preach the gospel. So you know what he does? Gets up the next morning, talks to his crew and says, let's go for it. Here's what I find so interesting about Paul. He was focused, but he was also flexible. Sometimes the Lord leads and guides and directs you into opportunities that you may have never seen coming. I wanna encourage you, stay firm in your commitment to the Lord, but also flexible to the leading of his spirit. It's like what Jesus said in the Gospel of John. You know, the spirit moves where he wishes. He's kind of like the wind. You don't know where the wind comes from or where it's going. The spirit is not bound by our agenda or our initiatives, but he can open up doors of opportunity and send you in a new direction that you've never expected. So this morning, stay firm in your commitment with the Lord and flexible to the leading of his spirit.